One of my best friends in grade school, his name was Danny. Now we loved to hang out together. I remember on one occasion that we manipulated, no, I mean, we orchestrated things with our parents where we had sleepovers for four consecutive nights. Like it was great. Now surely after four consecutive nights of sleepovers, this would have quenched our desire to hang out together. Well, not really, because if they would have let us, we would have done a fifth night in a row. Now, well, certainly this opportunity to hang out for multiple days together was completely harmless. It points to a greater reality, and that is this. Often the things we are grasping for in life are never enough. Even when we get them, there is still something missing, missing and something that still feels elusive. This is exactly what we see in Jesus' encounter with the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4. So I'm going to read from verses 13 and 14. Jesus answered, Everyone who drinks this water, the literal water, will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. Now the woman came to the well to meet a temporary need of thirst. And yet Jesus is offering her a permanent fix for her thirst. Well, she doesn't realize it yet, basically Jesus is telling her that she has been looking to satisfy her heart's desires in all the wrong places. And that these things she is seeking to fill the void in her heart with will only make her feel more empty. Right? In her specific case, she had had five husbands and, and it still wasn't enough. This is one of the biggest lies we settle for in life. If we only get blank, then I'll be happy. If only this happens, then I'll be content. But the problem with uh, this mindset is that it sends us down a rabbit trail seeking something that isn't really there. The deceptive thing about it is uh, there are many things down that rabbit trail that appear to be the solution, only to disappoint when we try to fill the void in our hearts with those things. A famous church historian named Augustine once said, You have made us for yourself, O Lord, and our heart is restless until it finds rest in you. This woman's heart, whom Jesus was talking to, was restless. She was looking for rest in all the wrong places. What is it that you were looking to fill your heart with? Thinking that if you only get this, then you will be at peace. Let's not look for that rest in all the wrong places any longer. Let's come and drink the water Jesus promises, the water in which we will never thirst again.